I've made the argument that biology is already ahead, at least in terms of people like uh, uh, Einstein and Curie, and it's ahead in terms of energy and size. So the the, the, the 1.3 kilogram, 20-watt uh, brain is quite remarkable. It, 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 biotechnology is moving exponentially faster than Moore's law, um, some, uh, some years as much as a factor of 10 per year. It is already good, we are already good at atomically precise fabrication. That is a gift to us for the three billion years of evolution. When we want some device that does something, even, even doing operations on uh, atoms of inorganic material um, can be done atomically precise. That's, that's where Moore's Law would go if it could. Um, Biological systems are capable of rapid physical self-modification. That is not, a, I mean, you, you can do um, uh, modest uh, levels of that in, in uh, electronic systems. This is part and parcel of every single, every time you capture any, do anything inside your brain, you're modifying the synapses. So it's constantly self-modifying the 86 billion neurons times about 8,000 synapses each. So trillions of synapses. Um, and so what I've been describing is sometimes called nat natural computing, where instead of simulating, say, protein folding or simulating the cellular function or simulating a neural network, you have actual, you can build these things at, at, at a cost and speed that is uh, far in excess of what you can do with a simulation. So it's something to consider. I'm not saying it's the only way of doing things. Um, Another topic is we want to be able to teach ethics. Um, it's hard enough to teach ethics to our children and students, um, but it's even harder, I would maintain, to teach it to um, a, a new substrate that, is, that we don't, um, which did not go through the evolutionary process that our, our children and students went through. And, I, and to support that, I would say that, that uh, teaching neuroatypicals, and, uh, and, and I'll say I'm partly neuroatypical, teaching them is hard, uh, and teaching something that's far more neuroatypical, which is silicon-based systems, will probably be harder. And we won't really know whether we've done it um, in, in, unless we get very rigorous about what we mean by ethics, which is not where we are right now. And finally, I'll say it's much easier to copy an unknown to, to, uh, than it is to translate it into a new. It's much easier to take a photograph of a foreign language page than to, um, than to learn the language and to translate it.